so what? I'm still a rock star. I got my rock moves and I don't need you. Shalom and welcome back to Wife Hack by Tina Sheree and welcome to Motivation on Monday. And this motivation is going to be entitled, So What? And don't forget to check me out on the Death Level Podcast and to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's pray. Father God, we give you all the glory. We praise you. We magnify you. And we thank you, sir. We thank you, sir, for everything you've done, everything you're doing, and everything you will do. Lord, we love you, and we ask that you forgive us of sins we've committed knowingly and unknowingly, and we repent of sins perpetuated by us and our ancestors. Lord, I pray that you open our eyes and ears, our hearts and minds to receive the word that you would like us to hear today. Make me your personal conduit so I can say to your people what you want me to say. Me in the background, you in the foreground, this is about your glory. We thank you for the revelation, the confirmation, and the clarity. In the name of Jesus, amen. So turn with me, if you will, in your Bible to Matthew 625. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? My gold, we make it so little and it's so not significant to what God has called you to do. So I'm, I'm going to say this to you, and we're going to make it short, quick, quick to the point. So this is only what the Holy Spirit has said to me. Um, there's going to be people who are threatened by you. There's going to be people who are jealous. There's going to be people who automatically have a disdain for you. There's people who are going to be... Um, hating on you but God said so what he ain't called you to them he didn't call you to them and if they don't see the gift that I put inside of you then that's so what they're lost he said so what they're lost I'm gonna need you not to worry about oh well I don't have this and oh, I don't have this, and I don't have this degree, and I don't have this title, and I don't... God said, so what? God said, so what? He is the, he is the boss, number one. God is a God of order. But what did he say? It's not about those people. It's not about those people on social media. It's not about that. It's about me, what I said. And if I put something inside of you that nobody else values and nobody else takes it as the gift that I've given you and they take it as offensive, then oh, so what? So what? Do it. My God, do it despite not having the support of those other people. Do it despite not having those people sign off and give their approval. My God, do it despite those things because I, the Father, have said these things and have put these things into order. I have, well, not Tina, no. I have, the Father has. So I'm going to tell you this. So what? So what? So what? We don't want people... And that's the people pleaser. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. So what? We don't want to hurt people's feelings. So what? That's not. Let me tell you. When, G, when God sent Jesus. Jesus was not sent to create peace on earth. I know the um, Christmas song talks about that. But that's not what God sent Jesus for. He shook things up. He shook up the status quo. Some people are put on this earth to shake up the status quo. He's saying, so what? It is time for you to do what I've called for you to do. I've called you for greater. I've called you for bigger. I've called you to do amazing things and to change the earth, to change the world that we know, my God. That's what I called you to do. So I sent people into your life 
to shake up that status quo, to challenge your belief system, not so that they can break you, but that they can make you stronger so you can do and fulfill what God has called you to do. He's called you for greater. He's called you for more. It is time to step up and do it. You may not have all the things that you think or all the people that you think you need to have, but God said, so what? You can still do this thing. I've called you for greater. I've called you for greater. This, this is time for you to step into what I've called you to do. It is time. My God, can we talk about this? So like a few years back, um, there was months, for months and months and months, I was hearing that song um, by, it, it, it was in The Lion King, it's not by, but it was in The Lion King. And it was like, in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. That song. Um, since going to Harvest, um, Bishop is just saying like, when you have songs that are like stuck in your heart, your head, <laughs> For a long time, um, sometimes that's just God's way of trying to speak to you and trying to tell you what time it is. And so it's like, listen, re I know now to read the lyrics and, and to really, but it was that sleeping lion, my God, somebody here, my God. And I'm trying not to be disrespectful and release words that I'm not supposed to be releasing. Um, but somebody is a sleeping lion. God said, you are not doing what I've called you to do. You are um, deluding yourself, deluding the gift that God has given you. He said, you are deluding the calling that God has given you. He's called you for more. He's called you for greater. You're deluding it. You are sleeping on what God has put on inside of you. It is time, no longer are you sleeping. You know what vision he, it is that he gave you. You know what he has called for you to do. You know what life he has called for you to live. You know. So no longer, no longer can you delude yourself. He said, it's time for you to change the recipe. Change the recipe. I've called you to be a great changer of this world. I, that's what I called for you to be. So change the recipe. Let me tell you, when we're talking about changing things, um, some of the great changers in our world, um, let's talk about it. They shook up the status quo, okay? But they changed, quote unquote, the recipe. So, okay, normally you would do A plus B equals C. But I'm sending you to do X plus Y equals Z. Okay? That's what I'm calling for you to do. That's what he is calling for you to do. It is time for you to do that. Sometimes he sends people because it's like, okay. So they're not listening and they're just sleeping on what I've put inside of them. So I'm going to bring this person to kind of shake things up a little bit. Get them to see things differently to motivate them, to inspire them, to do the greater that I've called for them to do. That's it. That's it. It's not one of those things that you rebuke and you think it's a bad thing. It's not. Let's, <laughs> let's talk about it. God has caused somebody to be put in my life that has changed the whole entire trajectory of my life. And let me tell you, for a while there, I'm like, some of that stuff was cutting deep. Let's talk about it. But I was still able to see the value in what was being said. And though I did not like it, it was what needed to be said. That is what I'm sent here to do. What needs to be said at the end of the day? I still love you. I still care about you. I still want nothing but the best. I still believe in you. I still know that you can do it. I still know that God has more for you. I still know that God is about to blow your mind. I still know that you're going to achieve greatness. 
There is no ill will. There is no dissension. There is no harm. There is no hurt. There is no bitterness. There is no resentment. There is none of that. It is all love. It is all support. But it's time because you've been deluding yourself, not been yourself lately. You need a Snickers bar. So please don't take any of this stuff offensively. I talked about this last week. Test the spirits. Test the spirits. Test the spirits. Test it. Some of it is actually sent by God and not the enemy. But you want to put it on the enemy. Sometimes it's God. It's not the enemy at all. But anyway, I'm going to link in the description one of the life-giving messages from Bishop Kevin Foreman and Harvest Church. It will bless you. It will inspire you. It will change your life. And thank you so much. This is such an honor. And shalom.